Hey there! So, I don't usually do tutorials, but I found something in Cura. Uh, I found it, it was, it came out of a need that uh, I found incredibly helpful and I wanted to share it with you guys, if you don't already know it. Um, so, let me just show you what it is and then I'll show you how to do it. So, first of all, I, I looked at this and I sliced it and I realized that it only needs, um, I guess, a lot of infill for the top where it's going to draw these flat surfaces. And I thought, man, that is a waste of filament. Um, and it took way too long to print. So I was like, is there a way to change the infill halfway through a print or you know, at a certain point? And there absolutely is. So uh, here, let me show you. So this, I start off with like a 4% infill. And then watch this. Boom. Right there, it changes. And this bridge is just fine, you know, and you could probably go with even less than I have, but I have four and I think I'm going to 15. And then, you know, right there, it starts drawing the, the top part and it prints in like half the time and uses like half the amount of filament. Um, so obviously in some cases, this isn't uh, gonna work, but in this case and a lot of others, it's great. Now let me show you how to do it. So let me just delete this. And I don't do tutorials usually, so, you know, and I don't, haven't done this a ton of times, so uh, bear with me. But uh, so you come over here, you select select the object. Uh, you want to go to uh, support blockers, and you want to create one. And usually you just cl uh, click on you know a service, and it makes it. And then you select it. Um, and you've probably done this before. Um, uh, scale it. You want to turn off. Um, so it's already off the uniform scaling. So you could just do kind of you know do do do. Just make it big enough for the top. Okay, and then um, this should go up a little. And you want to just barely, and you don't even need much here. Um, I probably do it in prepare, be easier. Um, you don't need much to go from you know the the point. And then so once you do that, um, you go to the uh, per model settings over here on the left hand side. Um, and modify, modify settings for overlaps. Uh, right here, you don't. It's not. Um, it's not there yet. So you have to select settings, and like when you select things, it adds it to this little area. So here would be. You go. You scroll down to infill, and then you change infill density right here, and you change it to what you want it to be. So you close this, change what you want it to be, and this. I'll just try. I'll just do 15, and you know, for me, that's that should be enough. Um, and then I think that does it. So, so now let's uh, slice it. Slice, 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 slice. All right. 16 hours, 12. I think it was like, it was over a day before to do this. And there it is. Do, 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 do. And it, and it, it works great. It works great. And you, yeah, you're going to cut down your filament and it just works. Anyway, that's it. Thanks, guys. I hope that helps. All right.